What's going on everyone? It's Connor from here at Nitrous Express. And if you've ever been on the street and all of a sudden you go from cruising to racing someone in a clapped out Fox body, you know the pain of wishing you would have kept your nitrous bottle open before you started your daily commute. While leaving your bottle open all day every day is an option, it's unsafe. And with Nitrous Express's remote bottle opener, you can say goodbye to losing those unexpected races and hello to your new favorite nitrous mod. Our remote bottle opener debuted in 1999 and we even won a SEMO award for it. There's no better feeling than pressing the double throw switch and knowing that that sweet, sweet nitrous is flowing into your lines like a scene out of Turbo. Now this may seem like a complex product with a difficult install, but in reality, it's very easy and can be done in a matter of minutes. When installing your remote bottle opener, the first thing you're going to want to do is ensure that your bottle is empty, and if it's not empty, you'll want to put this little cap on, and this cap is going to go in the same place that your feed line would, just to block off the nitrous path. You'll get a half inch wrench and tighten that down just a little bit. And then you'll want to open up your bottle. Ensure that there's no nitrous leaks. Once your bottle's capped off, you're gonna wanna take a flathead screwdriver and simply remove the NX black plastic cap on top of the Lightning 500 valve. With your plastic cap removed, the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is take your half inch deep socket and remove the nut inside of the cap. Be sure not to lose this nut as you're gonna need it whenever you're installing your remote opener. Now that your nut is off, you can remove your hand wheel. And you're gonna to wanna to install this Nitrous Express collar where this cutout is over the bottle nipple. Now that your collar's in the correct position, you're gonna to wanna to take the Allen bolt that we include and tighten your collar to ensure that it stays in this position. Once your collar's tightened down, the next step is gonna be installing our billet aluminum hand wheel. Notice the gears that the remote opener uses to activate the bottle opener. We include this so that you can use your hand to open and close the bottle when you need to refill it. Once your hand wheel is correctly positioned, you're gonna to wanna to take that nut that we removed earlier and reinstall it right over the top. With everything in position and tightened down, we're finally ready to install the billet aluminum bottle opener body. It can be rotated in four different directions to ensure that clearance isn't an issue in almost every application. The motor of our opener slides on and uses one thumb screw to attach to our bottle valve so that you can easily take it off and remove the bottle. You'll want to line up this little hole right here so that way you can use the thumb screw with that final step, your bottle opener is fully installed and ready for electrical. I know, I know. You're thinking that there has to be a downside to this product. Maybe you're thinking that you have to hold the button down for extended periods of time before it opens up. If that's the case, let me show you just how long it takes to open up your bottle. I have a nitrous pressure gauge installed in the cab here. So you can see that right now, the nitrous pressure is at zero. Now I'm going to hit the open button. You can see the nitrous pressure went up. Now, if you ask me, that was pretty damn fast. Here at Nitrous Express, we take pride in the quality, reliability, and usability of our products. And this remote bottle opener is a prime example of what we do here, making you fast whenever and wherever you are. For more information on this product or to see any of our others, visit us at www.nitrousexpress.com or give us a call at 1-888-GO-FAST-1. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys like to see next, and I, We'll see you next time.